Hi, everybody. Just waiting for a few more people to join us, and we'll start in five minutes or so. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. 
I'd like to thank you all for coming out here during your lunch hour to this Seed Alliance Awards ceremony. We thank you tremendously for being at the room. We know there are other interesting sessions, other interesting interests at this time, but of course, it's very important that we recognize the work that is going on in our communities. So I'd like to invite you all to probably come a little bit closer because uh, we have that uh, possibility uh, today. Um, don't worry, we are all nice and friendly. Hopefully no one bites anyone else. And uh, we'll get this ceremony started. To begin, my name is Kevon Swift. I am Head of Strategic Relations and Integration at LACNIC, the Latin American and Caribbean Internet Addresses Registry. And I'll be your Master of Ceremonies for today's proceedings. And I'd like to get started with a few words about the Seed Alliance, particularly for the newcomers in the room, and explain briefly the dynamics of today's ceremony. The Seed Alliance is a partnership between three grants, awards, and programs, ISIF Asia for the Asia Pacific region, the FRIDA program for Latin America and the Caribbean, and FIRE for the African region, each hosted by its corresponding regional internet registry, APNIC, LACNIC, and AFRINIC. These three grants and awards programs seek to promote internet development in their regions of work and support initiatives that employ internet-based solutions and technologies to positively impact populations across the global south. The work of the Seed Alliance would not be possible without the generous contributions of global and regional partners and the supporters, the International Development Research Center, the IDRC, the Internet Society, .asia for ISIF, and Google for FIRE. In today's ceremony, we'll be presenting the 2018 award winners, six wonderful initiatives from Argentina, Mexico, Myanmar, Senegal, the Philippines, and Uruguay. So we are very excited to introduce these initiatives to the IGF community and have you all participating in this ceremony. And as for the ceremony's dynamics, we have Mr. Paul Wilson, Director General of APNIC, who will give opening remarks and speak about the Sea Alliance's work to continue uh, to contribute to closing the digital divide and gender gap in the technology world. We are also joined by Mr. Fet Sayo, Sayo pardon, Senior Program Officer at the IDRC, who will speak about their support to the Sea Alliance to tackle gender inequality in the ICT internet industry. And following uh, uh, Fet's address, we will be introducing the award winners in the Gender Empowerment and Innovation category. We also have Mr. Raul Echeverria, Vice President of Global Engagement at the Internet Society who will speak to ISOC's collaboration with the Seed Alliance to support the growth and consolidation of community networks. And following his address, we'll be introducing the award winners in the community networks category. Last but not least, we have with us also Mr. Alan Barrett, CEO of Afrinic, who will share some remarks about the Seed Alliance's contribution to the sustainable development goals and the commitment of the regional internet registries to have the internet be an enabler for development in our service regions. And this year we have a special treat for all of you here. We'll be offering a few beverages and refreshments at the end of the ceremony to toast to the 2018 award winners. So please, we kindly invite you to stay around and enjoy the refreshments that we have and to celebrate with us. So prior to giving the floor to Mr. Paul Wilson, let me introduce a brief institutional video about the Seed Alliance and its regional programs, FIRE, FRIDA, and ISIF Asia. The Seed Alliance is a collaborative partnership between the FIRE Africa, FRIDA and ECF Asia grants and awards programs to support innovation on internet development across the global south. The Seed Alliance program partners identify digital innovations and solutions, software tools, devices, research outcomes according to each regional set of criteria and categories. That makes strategic use of internet technologies in an innovative way. 
The Seed Alliance offers opportunities to scale up digital innovations to project teams that support economic growth and social development through funding, capacity building opportunities and strategic networking. The Seed Alliance was funded in 2012 thanks to the generous support from the International Development Research Centre, IDRC, the Swedish government and Afrinik, Apinik and Laknik, the regional internet registries. Since it started in 2012, the programme partners have supported 185 projects from 61 economies with over 5.1 million US dollars of funding allocated in grants and awards throughout Africa, Asia Pacific, Latin America and the Caribbean, helping to strengthen and promote the information society within these regions. The Seed Alliance programme partners are committed to helping ideas grow. Room. Create, enable and connect. These three action words signified the pursuit of the Fund for Internet Research and Education, an initiative of AFRINIC that gives grants and awards to outstanding projects that use the Internet to provide innovative solutions to Africa's education, information, infrastructure and communication needs. Over the past four years, Fire Africa has given out 31 grants and 12 awards from 18 countries. It has also held capacity building workshops in all AFRINIC meetings since 2013 to over 80 entrepreneurs and innovators. Fire Africa also takes recipients to international platforms such as IGF and ICT4 development forums. Overall, funding to date is over $1 million. The FIRE program, that started in 2007 as a pilot project to identify and reward innovative solutions to community challenges, has finally come to age. The Fund for Internet Research and Education has matured and is now among the prestigious awards and grants programs offering recognition and support to ICT initiatives benefiting grassroots communities. Frida. The Regional Fund for Digital Innovation in Latin America and the Caribbean is a grants and awards program aimed at strengthening initiatives that harness the power of the Internet for the development of the region. FRIDA is an initiative by LACNIC, the Latin American and Caribbean Internet Addresses Registry. The work of FRIDA is possible thanks to the generous contribution of IDRC Internet Society and LACNIC that contribute to the fund supporting digital innovations across the region. Since its creation in 2004, FRIDA has supported 128 projects. With $1.7 million in funding, including regional and country-specific projects involving more than 18 economies region-wide. The FRIDA Awards distinguish innovative digital solutions with demonstrated social impact. In 2018, FRIDA is distinguishing three initiatives that work to close the digital gap and the gender gap in technology through the development of community networks and technology and gender initiatives. The Information Society Innovation Fund, ECF Asia, supports communities in the Asia-Pacific region to research, design and implement internet-based solutions to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. Since 2008, ECF Asia has supported 69 grants and 28 awards allocating over 3.4 million Australian dollars to 97 innovative internet-based solutions that address development needs across 24 economies throughout the Asia-Pacific region out of 1,828 applications received from 38 economies. ECF Asia has supported initiatives from organizations based in Australia, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Cambodia, China, Cook Islands, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Micronesia, Myanmar, Nepal, New Zealand, Nui, Pakistan, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Thailand, the Philippines, Timor-Leste, Tonga, Vanuatu and Vietnam. 
ECF Asia is a program of the AP NIC Foundation, operating thanks to the generous support from the Asia Pacific Network Information Centre, AP NIC, and Canadian International Development Research Centre, the Internet Society, and the DOT Asia Organization. The ECF Asia Award Package includes $3,500 US dollars and a travel grant to join us here at the 13th Internet Governance Forum in Paris, France. The Seed Alliance is a collaborative partnership. It's so nice we wanted to show that twice. Please, ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming Paul to give his remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin, and uh, thanks to you all for uh, spending your lunchtime uh, joining us here today. Uh, so I'm Paul Wilson. I'm the head of APNIC. Um, we're one of the three regional internet address registries that host and support the Seed Alliance. Um, the Alliance is, as you heard, uh, an alliance of these three separate grants and awards programs which have been running for some time. They've got, they've got dif different histories, these programs, uh, but what they represent is a shared commitment amongst these three organizations, APNIC, uh, LACNIC and, and AFRINIC, as partners uh, working together on, on what you're hearing about here. Uh, you've heard ab about those um, three programs in, in the video, and um, those programs include both grants uh, for small projects and awards. But I just wanted to add a few more words here about what we're here for, which is uh, to give the awards for 2018 in, uh, in two categories that, uh, that were selected uh, this time around. So these uh, important categories were agreed with, and they're fully supported by IDRC and uh, the Internet Society. And what they represent is two different gaps that I think we can all see and that we're very much here in Paris to talk about, and that they're gaps in the uptake of the internet, um, the ability of people to access the internet, and, uh, and the distribution of, of the benefits which, which arise. So these are, these are firstly, um, a gap in access, a divide between those who have adequate access to the internet and, and those who don't. And then on a different dimension, uh, a gender gap, uh, a divide which I think is very clear between uh, males and females in, in terms of access to and benefit from the internet. So we've got the Community Network Awards uh, supported by ISOC, which um, showcase what we think are very interesting alternatives for um, the unconnected to connect themselves to improve uh, their access to the internet, uh, because uh, community networks uh, really do tend to break down the paradigm of, of ownership of the network itself, um, empowering their communities to own uh, the devices, the network, the content, and the services that they're benefiting from, and to, to manage those in ways that, um, that can be much more fit for purpose and much more culturally appropriate. Um, and that, in turn, uh, generates opportunities and participation in the, in the digital economy, which I think we all believe is, uh, is critical these days. So secondly, the, the Gender Empowerment Award, uh, supported by IDRC. Um, the idea here is not just to promote uh, more e equitable ac access, but act actually to show that um, acknowledgement of and investment in women's leadership in the internet for, for development sector is, is really cru crucial if we're going to close uh, the gender gap. And the point here, I think, is that, I mean, I think we all know, um, it, women are not merely subjects for training and mentoring as, as users of the internet. Um, they, um, women can be, they are critically involved in the design, the deployment of technology and applications and services, and in creating the visions as owners and innovators and leaders in those services. And I think that's, that's where the, um, the Gender Empowerment Awards are coming from. So um, these are two categories um, of awards. They, they represent these two gaps that we're all really dedicated to recognizing and, and addressing. Um, they are shared by the three Seed Alliance partners. They're shared with uh, the Internet Society and, uh, and IDRC as well. And I think it's really exciting to see the, the kind of amazing uh, innovations that are, that are happening in these areas uh, that we're going to recognize today in these awards. So thank you again, and I'll hand back to Kevin to um, proceed with, I think, the first category of awards. 
Thanks, Paul. Uh, in just one second, we'll get to those awards. Uh, just before we do that, I'd like to invite Mr. Fetsayo to give some remarks on behalf of IDRC. And we can encourage him with the... I think the applause was for Paul, really. Um, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to speak. I've been able to uh, represent IDRC a number of these things. It's always a joy for me. I've been involved with the small grants for over 15 years now in different forms, different shapes. Um, and uh, being a co-funder of the grants, we're privileged enough to be able to nudge uh, changes and, um, and so the formats or the themes uh, of the small grants. I'm excited about um, the awards that we're giving out today. Um, just to give you a little bit of context, what IDRC is, the International Development Research Center, we are a crown corporation of uh, the Canadian government. Um, that means that we receive um, funding from the public, taxpayers, and uh, it allows us to provide research grants to uh, the Global South, to Southern researchers to solve um, the issues of social and economic challenges at their local level. Um, why did we focus on gender equality? Um, to echo what my Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says, well, I think he said it was, it was 2017. Let me just repeat this, it's because it's 2018. This is the reason. But let me read you a, a more formal reason from the Feminist uh, International Assistance Policy of Canada um, under the Global Affairs um, of Canada to which we um, report to. And this is straight from the website and I, I encourage you to go visit, again, the Feminist International Assistance Policy of Canada. The last three decades uh, have seen dramatic reductions in global poverty, but not everyone has benefited equally. Hundreds of millions of people, especially women and girls, are still poor have unequal access to resources and opportunities and face major risk of violent conflict, climate change, environmental hazards, and or economic and political insecurity. By eliminating barriers to equality and helping to create better opportunities, women and girls can be powerful agents of change and improve their own lives and those of their families, communities, and countries. This is a power way, powerful way forward to reduce poverty for everyone. Canada is part of a global community. This is why we invest in international assistance, helping to eradicate poverty and vulnerability around the world, enhances our own safety and prosperity. Canada's feminist international assistance policy recognizes that supporting gender equality um, and the empowerment of women and girls is the best way to build a more peaceful, more inclusive, and more prosperous world. I think that really much sums up the, the philosophy behind it. And the areas of focus under the feminist international assistance policy is gender equality and empowerment of women and girls, um, human dignity, growth that supports for everyone, environment and climate action, inclusive governance, and peace and security. So it's under that context so why we've nudged the the seed alliance to focus on gender equality uh, and issues. And again, not particularly, uh, we see the inclusiveness of women and girls also benefits boys and men. So thank you very much for um, coming to this event and look forward to meeting you all, uh, awardees. Thank you. Thank you very much, Fett. I think both Paul and Fett have really provided a reliable frame for the gender empowerment and access uh, question. Uh, but without further ado, please let me introduce the videos for the Gender Empowerment and Innovation Award winners. And in the meantime, I know the program coordinators will get the award winners ready while we look at the videos. The Seed Alliance Gender Empowerment and Innovations Awards are supported by IDRC and the Regional Internet Registries. Promoting gender equality is a smart development policy. A variety of approaches mediated by internet technologies are in progress across the global south to close the gender gap from education and training opportunities to the provision of employment and leadership development pathways. 
Digital technologies offer women and girls the means to imprint from the design of the services and applications all the way to the delivery and use. A vision of a future where equal access and equal opportunity is the norm. Organisations that work to further the Sustainable Development Goals agenda, such as the Seed Alliance Partners, understand the importance of achieving greater gender equality across the internet, so that all the SDGs and SDG 5 in particular may be accomplished faster and endure over time. The Gender Empowerment and Innovation Award winners for 2018 are working to scale up digital innovation, focusing on gender equality and fostering women's leadership in the internet for development sectors. L'ASTI, dans la mise en œuvre de son projet clé, a initié l'AGIDAS. Le projet clé consiste à redynamiser le système éducatif dans le moyen secondaire en favorisant l'intégration des TIC dans les enseignements et apprentissages. L'AGIDAS, journée d'animation scientifique, une compétition nationale entre les clubs scientifiques du Sénégal à l'usage des TIC dans toutes les épreuves d'évaluation. Grâce à des tournées préparatoires, l'ASTIC arrive aujourd'hui à former. Depuis 2014, plus de 1600 élèves et plus de 400 enseignants via sa plateforme www.foad.astic.com. Le projet clé contribue à la démocratisation, à l'accès au contenu pédagogique et à l'usage des TIC dans un cadre d'inclusion sociale. Mi nombre es Carmen Alcázar y coordino Editatona. Wikipedia, como casi todo en la sociedad, sufre de una brecha de género y de machismo. Lo podemos observar en el número de colaboradoras. De cada 10 wikipedistas en el mundo, solo una es mujer. En la cantidad de artículos que se escriben en la enciclopedia libre, en la Wikipedia en español, únicamente el 12% son biografías de mujeres. Cuando leemos artículos sobre mujeres en Wikipedia en español podemos encontrar algunos sesgos machistas, sexistas y que reproducen los estereotipos de género. Editatona surge en la Ciudad de México en 2015 como un esfuerzo para cortar esta brecha de género y para escribir más biografías de mujeres. Son talleres exclusivos para mujeres en donde aprendemos a editar Wikipedia y a redactar los artículos con una perspectiva de género. Desde 2015 a la fecha se han hecho más de 50 editatonas en 12 países de Iberoamérica y esto ha ayudado a cortar la brecha de género en Wikipedia. Nuestro objetivo es que en 2019 dupliquemos el número de editatonas para hacer una Wikipedia más inclusiva. Gracias por su apoyo. El proyecto Promoviendo Carreras de TICS en Adolescentes de Secundaria en Uruguay tiene como objetivo principal acercar aspectos de las tecnologías de la información y la comunicación a estudiantes mujeres de secundaria, tanto de liceos públicos como privados, en particular de ingeniería en computación y eléctrica, buscando desmitimificar los estereotipos de estas áreas y disminuir la brecha de género existente. El proyecto inició en el año 2016 incluyendo actividades dirigidas a grupos de adolescentes mujeres de liceos y escuelas técnicas y actividades de reflexión dirigidas al público en general. Sin embargo, la actividad principal que venimos llevando adelante desde ese momento eh, se enfocó en la creación y dictado de talleres de robótica, circuitos y software geográfico en instalaciones de la facultad en el marco del Día Internacional de las Niñas en las TIC. Y eh, la consigna es abrir las puertas de las universidades y las empresas a eh, las chicas para que puedan tomar contacto con lo que se hace en ciencia y tecnología, en particular en el área de las TICs. Las chicas no son en general igualmente motivadas a interactuar con elementos del área. Por eso nos, nos parece importante que puedan venir y participar en los talleres de Aprender Haciendo para tomar contacto con ellos.
My name is Duza. It means angel. They seem to be a light path that guests are traditionally expected to take. But I'm a Thai-ish girl and I'm on a different path. The Tech Care program, or TG for short, uses technology as a real building leadership and availability in games. We learn all about different computer programs, the cloud, blogging, coding, and how to use these in our communities. Our TG teacher, Paul, was an inspiration to me. I admire her so much. She had those special qualities that make a modern girl's room more, and she was definitely mine. For my community project, I designed a program to help primary school teachers keep electronic records of their students and use the work to design lessons and new activities. In 2017, I applied to become a master trainer like my room model Paul. Now, when I'm training, I have this feeling inside telling me that this is what I meant to do, that this is my path. The Seed Alliance Gender Empowerment and Innovations Award. Wonderful. All awards will be received by our IDRC representative, Fed Sayo, and we'll get right to it. It's the recognition time. For the Fire Africa winner for the Internet for Social Inclusion Award is ASTIC, l'Association d'appui à la science et aux technologies de l'information et de la communication, Sénégal. The trophy will be received by Mustafa Ba. Please. The ISIF Asia winner for the Gender Empowerment and Innovation Award is the Tech Age Girls Myanmar by the Myanmar Book Aid and Preservation Foundation. The trophy is received by Tant Tho Kang. Dr. Tant. The Frida winners for the Technology and Gender Awards are Wikimedia Mexico for Editatona, Closing the Gender Gap in Wikipedia, and the trophy is received by Carmen Alcazar. I'm learning to smile. <laughs> and Faculty of Engineering, Universidad de la Republica, for promoting ICT careers among teenagers in Uruguay. The trophy is received by Andrea Delgado. So thank you all, and again, congratulations to Mustafa, Tant, Carmen, and Andrea. Before we go on to the next category, I would like to now invite Mr. Raul Echeverria to give a couple of remarks on behalf of the Internet Society.
Thank you very much, Kevin. Uh, just a few words. Um, um, the Internet Society is very proud to have been a, a partner of this uh, program for a long time. Uh, so before Seed Alliance, uh, sponsoring the individual programs, and after Seed Alliance as, an, as a partner of the, the whole program. That's um, um, one of the reasons because uh, we have supported so far this, uh, this program is because uh, always have been focused on, on projects that uh, create an impact in the life of the people. That is, um, and this, this for us is, uh, is a priority that, that we, we believe really in an internet that, that Im improve the life of the people all around the world, an, an internet of opportunities. The, and one of the things that's, uh, that have been um, uh, part of our priorities in the last couple of, well, the last few years is uh, the work on community networks. Um, com one of the things that we have learned from the work we do on community networks, is, or maybe three things we have learned is, first is that, that we, we have the technologies uh, to connect the people. And when we uh, support uh, um, projects to connect uh, connected people in, mount in a mountain or a, in a forest or in a underserved places, uh, in the u urban places, is, uh, what we are demonstrated is that we have the technologies. That, of course, the technology evolution is always welcome and better technologies would be great, but uh, with the technologies that we already have, we can connect everybody. Second thing that we have learned is that it's not just about uh, bringing wires to the, to the um, villages or towns or, or places that we, have, we want to connect. It's, uh, it's, it's much more than that. It's um, engaging with the community and, uh, and because uh, people need to want to be connected and they need to understand what are the benefits that they can receive from being connected and this is something that we can achieve only working with the communities and the third thing that we have learned is that the regulatory and um, uh, legal framework should be a catalyzer for connectivity and not an obstacle and this is uh, why uh, so we find very very uh, good that that uh, Seed Alliance have, has decided to support uh, projects on community networks because this is a, a, a way to really not only to change the life of some people but al also to showcase those uh, projects to open to make the policymakers to open their minds and to find other solutions while uh, continue supporting the the, the enabler uh, environments enabling, enabling environments for uh, for markets is a is, is good, but it's not enough. Only doing that, we'll, we will not connect all the people that's not connected. So that's important that not only that the, the satisfaction we receive when we see projects that really change the life of the people, but also to showcase that in order to create a much bigger impact. So thank you very much, the Alliance, for taking this as one of the priorities. And uh, we are very happy to have contributed to a, a, with a small contribution to your success. Thank you very much, Raul. And I think, Raul, you've touched on one of the recurrent threads we've been hearing at this IGF about people first, making sure that what we do is people-centric. And I thank you for that. We are going to have the videos now for the Seed Alliance Community Network Awards. So the videos, and in the meantime... The Seed Alliance Community... Okay. <laughs> yes, no problem. Um, in the meantime, I know the project coordinators will have the award winners ready. Please. The Networks Awards are supported by the Internet Society and the Regional Internet Registries. Connecting the next billion is one of the most pressing and challenging issues in Internet governance. An estimated 53% of the world is still lacking access to the Internet and all the opportunities it brings. From access to education, to healthcare provision, precise agriculture methods and natural resources management, actively participate in digital markets to many other possibilities. Organizations that work to further the Sustainable Development Goals agenda, such as the Seed Alliance Partners, understand the importance of achieving greater internet access so that the SDGs may be accomplished faster and endure in time. The Community Network Award winners for 2018 are working to achieve affordable, locally owned and managed communication infrastructure, deploying creative low-cost solutions that use wireless technologies, GSM and or fibre connections.
Argentina tiene la mayor penetración de banda ancha de la región, pero lo que vemos es que hay una gran desigualdad tanto eh, regional como económica. Hoy no acceder a Internet no solamente genera desigualdades en el acceso a la educación, a la cultura y al trabajo, sino también a la formación de opinión pública. Por eso pensamos que conectar a los desconectados también es garantizar el derecho a la comunicación. La red Atalaya Sur surge a partir de una necesidad, la necesidad de estar conectados. Eh, la necesidad de acceder a Internet es muy importante, ya que no solamente es productor de entretenimiento, con vector de entretenimiento, sino también de información, educación, y creemos que es una manera de que los vecinos y vecinas de la Villa 20 se empoderen de la tecnología, no solamente siendo usuarios, sino también eh, siendo productores de contenidos, es decir, que participen eh, visiblemente de la red. A través del portal eh, podemos generar noticias, noticias que no salen en otros diarios, donde la gente no se entera. Problemas del barrio, los problemas habitacionales que tenemos, los problemas de agua, luz, y etc. Nos encontramos aquí en Pola y Cruz, donde el año 2014 se realizó la toma del barrio Papa Francisco. También nos permite encontrar en algunos casos alguna vocación, gente que quiere experimentar en fotografía, o en mi caso, eh, yo experimento cine, entonces yo encontré una vocación acá y eso es lo que nos permite el portal y también nos permite, obviamente, a las personas quizás un poquito más grandes darle una herramienta de las que son las nuevas tecnologías hoy en día. The Village Bay Station Project, or VBTS, is a collaborative research effort that addresses the lack of mobile phone access by establishing community cellular networks. It seeks to implement, evaluate, and improve operational frameworks for CCNs that is inclusive, participative, and contextually sensitive for rural communities in the Philippines. Our current model highlights the capability of our on-ground partners to perform system maintenance and business-related tasks. VBTS already has three operational sites since 2017 and aims to establish four more CCNs by the end of the year. We envision that our work will help create an ecosystem for community networks to thrive not only in the Philippines but in other parts of the world as well. The Cedar Lions Community Networks Award. Wonderful. Let's recognize our winners. The Frida Community Networks Award winner is Asociación para el Fortalecimiento Comunitario for Atalaya Sur, Argentina. The trophy right, is received by Damian Cejas from Sebastian Belagamba, Regional Bureau Director for Latin America and the Caribbean at Internet Society. One more time. The ISIF Asia Community Networks Award winner is Aurora Community Cellular Networks, University of the Philippines, Diliman, the Philippines. The trophy is received by Claire Barella from Raul Echeverria. Please, one last round of applause for both Damian and Claire. So all good things must come to an end, but before we do so, please help me introducing Mr. Alan Barrett to give us some closing remarks. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, we're honored that you're all here with us to, to share in the successes of the Seed Alliance program and to congratulate our award winners. 
Um, the three regional internet registries involved in the Seed Alliance, um, AFRINIC, LACNIC, and APNIC, all have as their primary responsibility the distribution of internet number resources in their regions. But they also all see that um, the use of the internet to support development in their regions is very important. And because of that, um, they support these three programs, um, ISIF Asia, uh, FRIDA, and FIRE Africa. Um, these programs are able then to support projects which are doing worthwhile work um, in our communities. The six programs, um, projects that have received awards today um, have all been initiatives that tackle things like rural community access, digital inclusion, gender equality, and social inclusion. There are also many others which are supported through um, grants, which are not present here today. Um, some of the sustainability development goals which are addressed by the project supported through the Seed Alliance include uh, health, education, gender equality, innovation, uh, responsible production, and peace and justice. So I'd like to thank all the award recipients for um, all your work on your project and for allowing the Seed Alliance to be part of your success stories. You've all done very well, and um, you're, you're doing important work in the communities that you serve, and that's very important uh, to the RIRs which are uh, supporting the Seed Alliance. We wish you more success in your future endeavors. I'd like to thank all the members of the selection committee, um, we sometimes call them jurors, who look through the applications from very many uh, prospective uh, projects who, who are looking for the awards. And it's not easy to choose the winners from such a large pool of good projects. So th thanks to the, the selection committees. Then I'd like to thank the program coordinators in the three regions. Uh, Sylvia Cadena from ISIF Asia, uh, Carolina Cayero from Frida, and uh, Olatunde Abowolui of uh, Fire Africa. Thank you all. Uh, finally, we, we could not do this without our sponsors. So thank you very much to um, IDRC and the Internet Society. Um, and thank you also to the, the Alliance partners. The three regional internet registries, um, AFRINIC, APNIC, and LACNIC, also contribute financially towards the Seed Alliance awards and grants. Uh, we also have... There's one last sponsor, and... Um, that is, Google supports the AFRINIC FIRE program, whereas most of the other sponsors support um, all three of the programs. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Alan. And once again, congratulations, felicitations at all of the 2018 Seal Alliance Award winners. We thank you, and we'd like to thank the audience for being here and sharing this ceremony with us. And as mentioned, please join us for refreshments that will be available outside room nine. Thanks once again. See you again next year. The lady, the lady with the blue dress is going to escort us up to where the corridor and the drinks are. Unfortunately, on this floor, we couldn't have food, so we have to walk. I hope the wine and the canapés will tease you to come and, and celebrate with us. Thank you.